kilowatt alpha four or uniform sierra alpha uniform sierra alpha come back with your call sign slowly phonetically back with your call sign slowly phonetically roger roger it's kilowatt alpha four kilowatt alpha four a uniform sierra alpha the name's frank Foxtrot Romeo Alpha November Kilo. I'm located in Lexington, Kentucky. Roger. Roger, Roger, Frank, in uh, Lexington, uh, Kentucky, uh, and you're uh, about to blow me away. I'm running currently my uh, Atlanta, Georgia SDR, and uh, you're probably, it looks to be about 20 over down that way, uh, Roger, Roger. Probably, it looks to be about 20 over down that way, uh, Roger, Roger. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> Where are you located at? Uh, I'm lo- located up around Louisville. I'm uh, just across the Ohio River uh, from Louisville in Indiana. Roger, Roger. A river uh, from Louisville in Indiana. Roger, Roger. Roger, not far from me. Uh, hey, you're a friend of mine. Uh, we're probably a little bit close, but let me switch antennas. Uh, I just put up a new vertical a few days ago. Uh, I haven't got it completed yet, but I got it partial way up, and uh, uh, I'm going to cut it off uh, let me quit talking, and when I come back on, I'll be on the other antenna. Okay, I'm on the other antenna now, so tell me what's doing. All right, that uh, doesn't seem to be quite as hot as the first antenna. That's uh, as it goes as far as Atlanta, Georgia. Now, if you would like to do that again, let me uh, switch to my local antenna, which, you know, we're up around uh, Louisville. So let me see if I've got a pretty good copy on, uh, on my local antenna. Come back and uh, uh, talk to me just for a minute, John. Okay, uh, KA4 USA Frank in Lexington. This is antenna number two. This is van number, van number two, give you time to look at your meter there. Now I'm going to switch it back over. When I come back, I'll be on the uh, other antenna. Okay, now we switched over. KA4 USA, Frank in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, can we have a report on that? Yes, sir. That uh, antenna is about 4 dB hotter than the other antenna as it, as it relates to me in Louisville. So I'm on my Louisville antenna. And uh, let's see, what am I? I'm uh, on uh, a zero uh, targeted uh, 10-foot uh, vertical magnetic loop. And um, like I say, uh, that antenna that you were on last was about 4 dB hotter than the antenna before that, as it relates to Louisville. Roger? Roger, and that's, that's normal because, like I said, you know, the vertical is usually better for a little bit longer distance. Uh, so uh, I'm a vertical is usually better for a little bit longer distance. So, uh, so uh, I'm a, I still got a bunch of, I still got a bunch of, but uh, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, I think. Yes, sir, Frank. Well, I, I just went around my SDRs, and you're hot everywhere. <laughs> you are hot all across the country, from Arlington to Georgia to uh, Pennsylvania to Rochester. It's just, just hot, hot, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, that's not always bad, is it? <laughs> Absolutely not, uh, Frank. Just just beautiful. What radio is it you're running, sir? I'm running a uh, FTDX-10 uh, I got a little bit of a, I do things a little bit funny. I don't believe in owning something if you don't use it, okay? And what I mean by that is that I'm on a FCDX-10 now. I use it on t- uh, a 40 through 6 meters, and I drive a ACOM amplifier about uh, about 700 watts right now. And then I've got a 991A, and I have it hooked up for a 75 meters, and I drive a, a uh an SB220, and I run it somewhere between 800 and 1,000 watts at night time. And so I flip three switches, and I change radios, I change uh, amplifiers, I change bands, and if I want to, change antennas. But uh, it's kind of fun that way. Uh, I guess I bought a 101D and it had two, uh, two screens on there. I could do that uh, a little bit easier. Roger. Yes, sir. Now, uh, Frank, I'll give you a suggestion, sir. Be sure and label your ant- your leads that go to those switches. Be very careful and deliberately label those uh, so you don't get ever confused. So mark your uh, your leads uh, really well. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, because that can easily happen. Uh, like I said, you know, if you get our age anyway, but uh, I'm still pretty sharp. But uh, uh, a little bit of negligence, you could do some big trouble. But it's fun just to do that. Flip those three switches, you know, and 
change bands, radios, and, and uh, amplifiers. So I have a little fun with it. I like to experiment around stuff like that. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. That's that's the neat part about it. when it's when it's right. It's just beautiful. I have a uh, my main receiver uh, is uh, uh, set up so that I can uh, run uh, my uh, dipole antenna plus these uh, uh, three uh, magnetic uh, vertical magnetic loop antennas. And uh, but it also has to have a. Um, a uh, lockout uh, so that uh, some of these antennas are disconnected when uh, we're transmitting. At least uh, we have uh, problems with uh, RF uh, coming back on the receive antennas and uh, doing some bad things. Uh, so we do uh, mute those antennas uh, when we uh, transmit. Roger. Roger, Roger. I, I switched back over to the vertical so it probably dropped down a little bit. Uh, does the audio sound pretty, pretty decent on both antennas? Yes, sir, and uh, your audio is, uh, looks to be about 3 dB dynamic range, which is exactly what we normally shoot for, which means that your average percent of peak modulation is running between 80 and 85 percent, so very nice there, and your audio EQ curve is very intelligible. Not a bunch of stuff down the bottom end, but, uh, you know, it, it sounds uh, very intelligible. Roger? Roger. Well, I sound got both of those. <laughs> That's something else. Uh, I like that. I, I guess I'm... Both of those, uh, like that, I guess I'm a little different. I got both those radios set up the same, and I've also got two different mics, but they're the same mic. I use the uh, uh, Yezu M90 equipment if you can, and so I've got two studio mics on if you can, and so I've got two studio mics on booms for two different radios. So I like this; it's just a fun thing. Uh, yes, sir, uh, Frank. The uh, thing uh, is, you want to be sure that uh, when you switch uh, uh, mics, uh, you know not all mics are created equal or the same. And uh, some, sometimes when you switch mics, you need to go to your ALC and double check real quick uh, the uh, audio level in your ALC, which, you know, we can do that. Uh, you know, first we suggest running about a 3 dB dynamic range compression, about a number 3 uh, on the compression something you'll never really hear on the air but it uh, helps us get to that 3 dB uh, point at the end and then uh, the ALC setup is really simple it's uh, uh, you know just uh, transmit uh, and the mic and you, you say the magic word audio and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running uh, two-thirds and it's such accurate we used to say mid-scale of two-thirds but this way is so easy to do at just the two-thirds level and the word is audio and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is two-thirds Roger and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is two-thirds Roger Roger, yeah, that's what I do, and of course on the 991A, uh, I have to turn it up a little bit to get the ALC where it's supposed to be. I mean, there's some fine tuning, even though I use the same microphone. Yes, sir. Well, like I say, your audio is just beautiful. 3 dB dynamic range, uh, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation. Roger. Uh, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation. Roger. Roger, Roger. I'm gonna let you go. I don't want to tie up your uh, tie up your net, but. Uh, uh, I want to get a, get uh, get somebody on there that uh, had a pretty good ear on them and uh, know a little bit about it and see what those antennas were doing. And uh, I, I'm going to be happy with the vertical. I'm, I like I said, I got put me down some more radios, but uh, I'm just on the beginning. Step. Roger, Roger, Frank. I just was tuning around there trying to get you back on my local antenna, and you. Uh, you uh, ceased transmitting about the time I got back there. So anyway, uh, we'll uh, be posting this recording up on YouTube by uh, noon tomorrow. So if you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, it'll take you right to this recording. Roger. Roger, Roger. Thank you so much. And you have a good day. You're doing a good job. And you're appreciated by many people, I'm sure. So uh, thank you again. 73. Kilo Alpha 4, a uniform Sierra Alpha. That's not a vanity call. It's issued in 1972. Excellent, Frank. Beautiful call sign. 73. This is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlognet. My name is Jim. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. <laughs>